Libere la liti ndini kwa lenyara kwa liku ya na kikuwa siya bunge ya nene chinga kia pa bunge wa ila nerelebi karobi ya po maika yechi kibere chumo timoko. Omono gali uwe bunge ya nene Moses Masika Wetangula ni kono nina po asoma amalieta ayu asoma no mora iwensi ya Kenya asye kabineti nya ayu arachi kulingoli kwa ne kamiti ye bunge ni kono obo kole kanduwa nina kono kwa niki kwa chinga ki Wetangula nina kono kwa asoma Rosalinda Soipantuya kono mo waziri wobole ndi Kolende na aden duale koira libagalia so ipan ase vinto vito etana ene gose environment. Aba bunge na wanyana aboni kwa manyara kwa wako manyigwa una ina moncholio anyara kwa wako korwa no mora ibu nsi ya Kenya. Honorable, Honorable Rosalinda so ipan tuya AGH, Cabinet Secretary Minister of Defense. Honorable aden bare duale AGH. Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. Order the committee to which such nomination is referred shall consider the matter and table a report in the House within 28 days. It is therefore imperative that the committee on appointments immediately commences the process of considering or of consideration of the nominees. The Committee on Appointments is expected to immediately notify the nominees and the general public, commence the necessary approval hearings, and table its report in the House soonest to enable the House to consider the nominees within the stipulated timelines. I thank you. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I find, and you really need to clarify this, why the list you have read to us is different from what the president read. We are starting from a very weak point on that basis alone, Mr. Speaker. We really need to preserve this country, and particularly this house. The challenges are going to be bigger. Leave alone the issue that you, you dismiss people and then you bring them back. The question is, why did you dismiss them in the first place? But leaving thank that you, aside, Mr. Speaker, that, that credibility is required. We should have the same list, Mr. Speaker. Honorable. I was asking, is it in order to revert those years who have been vetted before, Mr. Speaker? Lastly, Mr. Speaker, in the same house and the same parliament to revert the CSS for the second time. And thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, in the year 2018, this is what the High Court said regarding public appointments under the new constitution. And I quote, Honorable Speaker, that August 27, 2010, ushered in a new regime of appointments to public office, whereas the past was characterized by open corruption, tribalism, nepotism, favoritism, scrapping the barrow, and political patronage. The new dispensation requires a break from the past.